pressure and strength are two sides of the same coin. They are related, but they're not the same. Strength is a property of matter. Strength is what the materials have. This wood has a certain strength, steel has strength, concrete has strength. Okay. Pressure is something that you do. You generate pressure. You exert a force and you generate pressure. Let me just explain it a little better here. Pressure has to do with force. I'm just going to abbreviate force with F. And this force will generate pressure if it, depending on how evenly is distributed over, so that would be division, over a certain surface area. Remember that this force is generated by some mass, that m, that's not meters, that's mass. Okay, so some mass weighing something generates a force. How that force is distributed over a surface area matters, but all this generates pressure. This is what, this is what you exert this is how it's how, how your exertion is distributed and all that generates the pressure and the material faces it and resists it more or less so the unit of measurement of pressure is used in this sense to describe the material's strength okay so those would be the two sides of the coin you exert the pressure and this guy resists it. You know, the equal and opposite reaction thing from Newton's third law, something along those lines. And I want to demonstrate this pressure. Uh, one, one thing about pressure, how the surface area or choosing a surface area or changing the surface area makes a difference in the amount of pressure exerted. I'm just making some room. What I have here is a stick of butter. Now it's two halves actually. I already cut it in half. We're gonna work with one of them. Here's this knife blade. If I choose the surface area of the knife to meet the butter like so, so the contact surface area is, I don't know, about one and a half square inches, whatever it is, and I place a mass on top of this and I'm just balancing it barely because it's kind of slippery then this one kilogram mass is exerting over let me just take it up exactly that surface area that you see is buttery over that surface area this mass was exerting a force and the pressure that was being generated against the strength of butter was not enough to part the butter or cut the butter but of course if I turn the knife this way place it on top of the butter and just a sec I just wipe it there and place the same one kilogram mass on it it's just gonna run through it just like so you can see it's slowly sinking into it and it's true I was just balancing it okay I wasn't pushing it so the same mass the same mass generated a force over a much less over a much less surface area than previously previously this was like an inch and a half square inch sorry and now it's super hard to super hard to measure because the, the area of the knife's edge is such a small thing you would need to micro you would need a microscope to measure its to measure its width you can measure the length of it but the width of the knife's, knife's edge is a real challenge to measure so and that's how changing the you can change either the force or you can change the area over the force is exerted that's going to change the pressure generated and so that's how pressure and strength relate to materials such as concrete or steel or wood.